Okay guys, welcome again to Chris's Caribbean Delights and uh, today I'm going to bring to you a, it's a, a basic uh, traditional recipe for metai, a Guyanese crunchy sweet uh, snack um, that we enjoy as kids. Um, let's go to the ingredients. For that, we'll, we'll need three cups of all-purpose flour, three cups of all-purpose flour, One, two, and three. Three cups of all purpose flour. We're gonna season this flour because the flour, the um, the dough should be the, the dough should taste, should have a really great taste. Um, and we're gonna season this flour with some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and uh, and sugar to give it a little sweet. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna do about a teaspoon of uh, grated nutmeg, fresh, freshly grated nutmeg. It's always great in this uh, in this recipe. This is a Mitai recipe, and um, we enjoyed it as kids in uh, in the Caribbean in Guyana. Um, I'm sure it's being done elsewhere and being called a different name. But, um, so, I have about a teaspoon of grated, freshly grated nutmeg in there. And um, I'm looking for a teaspoon of mixed spice. So, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So that will give it. That will give this flour a lovely flavor. And also, we need in here a pinch of salt just to balance everything out. And the sugar, two tablespoons of sugar, give it some sweet. And and this, what we we'll do here is we're gonna get a whisk and just mix that all up. So that it can, uh, so that it can incorporate into the sh into the flour, because you want this flour to be really seasoned nicely. So you get a whisk and you just mix it all in there, so it's all incorporated nicely. So um, next, two tablespoons of. Uh, shortening vegetable shortening and the vegetable shortening I'm going to work that in with my pastry my, my pastry cutter I'm going to work that in because I want it to oh spills I want it to get into the flour and you'll get that uh, like if you're making a pastry and it's um, and it gets into the flour and makes it look flaky and stuff so I'm going to work this uh, shortening into the flour and I'll be right back when I'm going to add the liquid. See you then. Okay, as we were saying, we were working the, the shortening into the flour. Working the shortening into the flour. And before I took a break here, and one other item I have to put in for flavoring is ginger. I just put a tablespoon of grated ginger, fresh ginger. I use, um, may, you may use um, also the powdered ginger, but I always like the flavor of the fresh ginger is always better. So just use the, the flavored, the fresh ginger grated fresh ginger. So we get that all incorporated along with the shortening and we will uh, start the mixture. In my last video I did it in the in the um, in the stand mixer, the electric mixer. But this I'm gonna do a traditional style here and just do it with my with hand with my hands. So want to get 
get in there and just make sure that everything is well mixed. The shortening, spread that shortening around. The sugar, the cinnamon, the ginger. And we just get it all incorporated and the liquid. We add the milk. We have about a cup of milk here that we're going to add to bring this dough together. We add a little bit at a time. Yeah, so we'll add the milk and just let's just keep make, bringing this dough together. Try to bring the dough together with the milk and uh, we just keep and then we'll give it a little kneading action. Once it comes together, for about a half an hour to an hour and um, in a nice clean so we just let the door rest for a while and I'll be back here the oil from frying So I'm going to use a pizza cutter. Let's do Getting to that crystallized, that opaque 